Just when you think you're done talking about something you despise, you constantly get pulled back in, just like my relationship to Chicken Little, where there is just so much to talk about in this film that doesn't really feel like a Disney film at all. I mean, granted, I do honestly appreciate whenever Chicken Little gets mentioned in other Disney content like Once Upon a Studio, The End Credits of Wish, and The Wondrous Journey's Fireworks Show since they rather forget about this most times, but that still doesn't mean I love any of it at all. A movie that you just love to hate for being just so bad and confused to what it should be, more than any other modern film could ever produce. Where after focusing on the horrendous excuse of a father Buck Cluck was, we are going to take a closer look at the son being the titular protagonist of the very film. One character that was butchered back and forth during the film's production that had some potential to its story, but ended up in a mess that represented a desperate transition into the popular 3D style of animation with the slow death of Hollywood using 2D, with films like Home on the Range released a year before as another Disney film I hate. Or sometimes, I just love torturing myself with these things, relenting to the negative side after talking about the positives about perfect heroes or villains, where you just feel the need to express the other evils in the world in characters that do exist, like the main character of the film named after him. Where when you look at a typical hero's journey, they usually seem consistent within a certain path. That the story feels complete to where one needs to go for the destiny that is required of them, but how Chicken Little decides to throw all of that away in the opposite for some various muddled plotlines that really just don't add up. Having the sky falling, the baseball, and then the alien invasion to contend with the ever so terrible father-son relationship with Buck sucks. Because when you look at something like that, you start to question the point of the movie at all. The point of having a simple plot of a kid trying to prove himself after becoming an embarrassment to an entire town by winning a baseball game but then somehow having time left to spare to explore yet another aspect that he was worried about at the very beginning in a very weird manner that almost completely negates the entire storyline that we just learned about. Something that just isn't good in regarding our main hero in any way because we as an audience are supposed to connect to him as a character. We connect to all the main characters of the film and this one should be no different but that decides to go in a different direction. And I want to reiterate at this point that I don't personally hate Chicken Little as a character. He really isn't insufferable to any degree or has traits that I really hate, but how the story builds him up and knocks him down constantly in ways that don't make sense and why it gives me reason to call him a pathetic hero because the movie loves to trash on him constantly such as seconds after he's had his most positive impact. Like you can look at him and feel bad for him in some way, but that's because everyone else in the film is an asshole to him except his friends for some reason. The upside down world where his friends are far more supportive than his dad ever could be even near the end of the film. Because the movie from a certain point of view is about neglect and misunderstandings and nobody decided to give Chicken Little any of the benefit of the doubt for disrupting their lives in some way, with the fact that his father actually didn't want to encourage him to do something good that can prove otherwise, further cementing this pathetic society that doesn't want to give him a chance at all, where the former high school baseball star of a father just felt the need not to encourage his son at any turn either at the beginning or at the simple thought of him actually wanting to do what he did in baseball to prove himself to be worthy as a hero. It's just absolutely nonsensical in any way you can think about where he see in scenes from before when he was being bullied at dodgeball that the principal says he's the one who's in trouble to his father, that he's the one who causes his chaos despite everything that's happened against him, that they wanted to build sympathy towards him in the wrong way that really isn't fully justified to be the class clown of the entire town. Because when he tries to go to school, which somehow his father or anyone else who has a child that sounds way older than the normal school age we would think of can't really drop off except for the bus, the people on the bus still mock him at every turn and try to make him late resulting in the drastic actions that aren't allowed just because. Ones that make him eventually tardy and makes him slip up like the song usually says, one little slip. Like just from this one incident that happened at the very beginning of what he was worried about that his dad didn't try to properly protect him from, everybody just loves to trash on him at every turn and make him fail even harder even though his personality shows something that doesn't deserve any of that at all. Like that is something that would kind of only make sense if this was the earlier versions and what they had for that story when Chicken Little was actually a girl and the mother was still alive with Chloe. I understand the mother part a bit, but it just seemed like there was much more set in what they wanted with Chicken Little's story to go in some form as a coming of age film rather than what the mess it was in the final blueprint. Yes, it was fine to have some of the ideas for Buck Cluck's character and the determination in the final product, but that doesn't excuse any of the actions that the world showed towards them because it really doesn't make sense to do so. The grand failure of studio interference in this picture. Because again, in those earlier versions, you are able to understand where each each family member is coming from in the development of someone like Chicken Little, so it would play off later for that idea better. An idea that can truly connect with families that would have watched it rather than isolating certain events that fit a different subplot while simultaneously 
merging them all together. I mean, you can see this by the fact that Chicken Little is under a 90 minute runtime, where it's super short in some aspects as it wants to tell, telling it too fast to even care. Because the sequence it takes for him to reach the personal climax to prove himself in baseball only takes about 3 minutes to do so within the span of the first 20 minutes of the film. Where of course during that time, he manages to win the game and apparently everyone's heart. And while that seems like a good thing for his character to do, to not be painted as a pathetic hero who is now a champion, it still is only held within those first 30 minutes of the film with another rough hour to still go in the story. That now, we need to justify the rest of the film's existence and continue the present journey with something new even though we finished the important climax and arc where they needed alien subplot to be featured to continue that path. One that plays into the beginning with the sky still falling in some regard and somewhat within the father-son relationship that still isn't fully resolved for some reason. Like he celebrates for the talk they have, but we also know he didn't actually push hard enough to make them really connect or apologize like he should have at the end, like he actually did in the deleted scenes at one point of that original story. It's just not given clearly at all, and the only way everyone knew how to solve that problem or continue such a film was to send him into a panic mode with a piece from a UFO, telling his friends about it and turning this film into a poorly stitched together pilot of the television series of different subplots uh, where they wanted to do. Because this entire part of the film isn't a about him anymore. It's more about him and his friends discovering this alien ship that has landed that has a broken part that keeps falling off and running away from those alien parents. And how Chicken Little is forced to revisit the beginning of the film in this part to do the whole sky is falling warning again which resets everyone's relationship with him. Circling back to the beginning to make everything we did so pointless. The entire baseball win? Doesn't matter because he's embarrassed his dad yet again and the town again in this regard. A moment that makes you realize that the entire team forgot what they wanted to put in a story that even existed in the first place. Like what was the point of doing any of that if you were going to sideline him eventually like everyone else did because they still remain to be complete assholes. It's just illogical in all the possible ways you can think of. Again, the only real result of a troubled production were executives were shifting left and right, having some studio divisions shut down under their orders and having different demands of what the story should be with the waning popularity of Michael Eisner in his last few years and with Pixar rising off of their backs. All just rushed for that perception of what could have worked at the time rather than what should have. Because moving back to our hero, he now finds a new alien friend who now has to get back home as everything he said at the beginning comes true to some extent to fulfill that arc in some unrewarding way. One done so we can start to have the dad realize his mistakes and the entire town freak out over a half-hearted apology where it's just too fast and too late to even be justified because everything is a falling apart as they use a collection of popular music like R.E.M.'s End of the World song, the weirdest choice for a Disney movie to make at the time. You see this pattern still continue when he has to rush through his sentences to get to his father to finally understand him in some way, that we don't have time since there clearly is an alien invasion happening outside where it really doesn't work the way they wanted to to actually have this reunion and apologizing moment, the completion of the most important arc of the film. This moment where they reconnect and he apologizes in that sense seems actually a better fit for when they had the talk after the victory, where he proved himself that he can succeed in other regards and how everyone else was wrong to bully him over a short misunderstanding. Understandable to be upset at him, but not to a point where you need to constantly pick on him and how his father never really noticed that fact happening to him at all. Cause now it's all about Buck Cluck and Chicken Little going along this adventure to help this orange furball give back to his parents as that actually mattered to his character in some big way. Once again, it's about him and not them in this moment where they get to that peak in the actual climax climax of the film, where everyone then apologizes over the short misunderstandings about what happened with the alien invasion and the sky actually falling. Like you get that he did save everyone by doing this, but it still isn't done in a way that puts him at the center focus like that earlier baseball story did to prove otherwise, acting more as a short adventure put on top of the main story that was supposed to happen in the first place. Like again, this entire story with Chicken Little and the sky falling are two different stories that don't add up. One is supposed to be for something else, and the other one is just tagged along in between. I just have no idea what I'm supposed to be focusing on in this moment because it starts with him and then adds a new character to make up for that path, not giving him the celebration until they start making another movie about him for some reason because they are just that obsessed with him for some degree for better or worse in some point, where his dad didn't even stop to think about what they might do either way. Where it just doesn't matter in this regard because he gets to be known as Ace, the man who saved the day from the upcoming alien invasion played by the great Adam West in this film within a film. I mean, I guess they did that to make 
Jacob or how he kind of gets sidelined by this one furball in the latter half to remind us that he is a hero, but how it actually had to be in a shitty Hollywood retelling that Disney was going to be eventually good at themselves in the real world after this film released, and how it's just so pathetic that they had to do it that way where they had to celebrate him in an actual theater that he did save the day in the end and it took them that long to realize that even after the baseball game where he had that victory that was important, and now he has to be portrayed by an adult in a new film for some reason to understand that very point if you get what I mean. Where you can see by the end of this how little I was able to talk about Chicken Little as a character himself compared to my other heroes on this list because of how they never really wanted to do that part either. The actual directors did have their story set out by that short baseball section and those other deleted scenes, but how everyone else decided that something different was actually best which resulted in a confusing mess, making him my so called pathetic excuse of a hero. If they did stick with these original concepts then we wouldn't actually be having this conversation, but they still sadly went with that even though I really don't harbor much hatred for his very character at all, all except for the entire movie he was a part of and most of the other characters. It's just how we have to remember that the greatest things we enjoy about Disney stories as Disney fans are the heroes themselves, and if they are the weaker parts in any case, then the movies themselves just really don't work at all, becoming the worst that they potentially have to offer, even if some other elements like a villain could be particularly good in some way. But overall, I'm still thankful he gets to exist as a character to be celebrated for the good and bad that can happen in some way and form to be enjoyed. And with that said, I'm all done. Goodbye.